Linda frequently buys puto at the commuting market to pair with her coffee during breakfast. Its price, however, has gone up by 5 pesos. That's why she decided to lessen her consumption. Basta na lang para matikman, hindi mawala yung ano, yung magic ng puto. Retailers admit that prices of puto and other delicacies like biko are up by up to 10 pesos. Some products like bibingka and suman retain prices, though sizes are much smaller. Retailers even cook fewer products, but despite the strategies, their income is still not enough. Pero hindi bumibili ng marami. Kunyari, one port na lang, salip na kalahat eh. Wala nang magagawa eh. Wala rin mang mabili talaga eh, namurak. Adding to the burden of retailers are the rising prices of egg. At Kamuning Market, prices have increased by 25 to a peso per piece. The Agricultural Sector Alliance warns that prices could even increase by 10 to 15 pesos. Yung 15, kung, kung yung berplo, eh, hindi nila masasawata. Uh, at uh, hindi kaagad tayo magkakaroon na sapat na supply ng itlog. Kasi we need at least one and a half years bago magkaroon ng panibagong Dagdag na supply. But it's not just eggs that are seeing a price increase. Even sugar prices are going up, with white sugar now priced up to 95 pesos a kilo. The United Sugar Producers Federation warns that there might be a price manipulation going on. The group added that while supply should not be blamed for high prices, they are still foreseeing a shortage in the next few months. For now, they are calling on the Sugar Regulatory Administration to import 100,000 metric tons of sugar. This is only one way to tell these businessmen, yung mga retailers, na sobra-sobra na kayo. So, babagsakin natin ng uh, murang asukal para ibaba nila yung mga presyo. The Agriculture Department, for its part, is looking to impose SRP on sugar and egg. Even before we come up with a suggested retail price, we will definitely have a stakeholders meeting so we can come up with the right price. Shaila Francisco, we are One News.